Welcome back! Linux, the free operating system, has found a loyal following since its creation in the 1990s. But who are the people who actually use Linux and what motivates them to use this operating system? That's what this video is about. Ready? Now let's get started. The diversity of Linux users is fascinating and is reflected the wide range of variety of backgrounds and motivations. From tech enthusiasts and developers to privacy advocates and educational institutions. But of course also the normal desktop user like you and me. Everyone finds their place in the world of Linux. The diversity makes Linux more than just an operating system. It is a community that embodies the ideals of freedom, openness and innovation. But let's have a look. First, tech enthusiasts. One of the largest groups of Linux users are tech enthusiasts and IT professionals. They appreciate the freedom and flexibility that Linux offers. These users like to adapt and optimize their system according to their personal ideas. For them, Linux is not just an operating system, but it's a philosophy of freedom and openness. Second, developers and programmers. Many software developers and programmers favor Linux for their work. The native support of various programming languages and development environments as well as the availability of powerful tools and libraries make Linux a favorite platform for developing software and applications. Third, system administrators. Linux is widely used in many server environments. System administrators appreciate the stability, security and scalability of Linux servers. The ability to customize the operating system and the services running on it makes Linux attractive for professional IT teams. Point 4. Open Source Enthusiasts Linux is a prime example of open source software. People who support the ideals of open source often use Linux as the primary operating system. They appreciate the ability to view, modify and share the source code. Point 5. Users with older hardware. For users with older and less powerful hardware, Linux can be an attractive option. Lightweight distributions such as Lubuntu or Xubuntu make it possible to revitalize older computers and give them a longer life. Please keep in mind, not every person in the world has the money to buy every two years a new computer. Some have to stay with their older computer, maybe a longer time period than you do. Point 6. Privacy and security conscious. Linux is often favored by people who are concerned about privacy and security. Because Linux is open source, users can ensure that there are no unwanted backdoors or spyware hidden in the system. In addition, many Linux distributions offer a high level of control over the privacy. Point 7. Educational and research institutions. Linux is widely used in educational and research institutions because it provides a cost-effective and flexible platform for deploying IT infrastructure and conducting research projects. In addition, Linux gives students and researchers access to a variety of tools, software and resources. Point 8. The normal desktop user. One of the largest user groups is often unfortunately forgotten when it is mentioned. The ordinary desktop users who simply want to use their computer when they need it. For example, writing a letter, watching videos, hearing music. Perhaps garnished with a pinch of zero interest in Microsoft Windows or Apple Mac OS and the associated restriction that their solution bring with them. In a world where digital freedom and control over our technology is becoming increasingly important, Linux remains an important alternative to proprietary operating systems. The people who use Linux represent a wide range of user profiles and demonstrate the versatility of the operating system. Whether as a desktop operating system for listening to music or watching videos, as a tool for developers and IT professionals, as a platform for the privacy and security conscious, or as a tool for education and research, Linux offers a wealth of possibilities and resources for its users. The future of Linux looks very promising as the community continues to grow and evolve to meet the ever-changing demands of the digital world. And by the way, 
Do you see yourself represented in one of the user groups mentioned? If yes, in which one? If not, what have I forgotten? Do you agree with me that the normal desktop users often somehow fall by the wayside when it comes to describing the range of Linux users? Please share your opinion in the comments. Feel free to subscribe for Linux content. If you like the video, then please give a thumbs up and if you hit the bell, then you'll be notified when new content is available. Thanks for being my guest today. Have a nice day and see you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Peace. Thank you.